You've eased your own conscience for not doing more. <laughs> Edward Everett Hale, now I, I get frustrated at times, and people say, what can we do? What can we do? You can do whatever it is that you're willing to make the sacrifices to do. Our founding fathers made tremendous sacrifices, and they didn't whimper or whine a bit. And if you do your homework, I, probably about half the people that signed the, the Constitution lost everything they had died destitute they could look in the mirror though and respect who was looking back and they could die knowing that they'd done their best to make sure that their kids had a better future now I'm on the trailing edge of the baby boomers my generation has dropped the ball uh, the sons and daughters of the greatest generation have some, some work to do and it ain't, it ain't padding the bank account and, uh, so I, I started Old Glory 2006.org and uh, some of you here know me as Pat, uh, Patriot Watchdog. Uh, PatriotWatchdog.com is a project of Old Glory and I didn't want to reinvent any wheels because there's some people here in this room that are doing some wonderful things. But I did want to support those people that were. Uh, Numbers USA, outstanding. They, uh, they're a better immigration. The immigration uh, report cards they have, there's not a better one out there. It's a great resource. Well, I had never heard of it. That was one of the things on my list I wanted to create so that you didn't ever have to listen to a, a pundit or a politician again to find out what he was really doing. You could watch him campaign, and then you could see how he voted with just a couple of clicks. I, I can't say enough nice things about Roy Beck and Numbers for what they're doing. Um, so Patriot Watchdog is a, a partner of the Fire Coalition we're kind of quiet we, uh, we try to do more to promote and work with the groups that are out there nobody knows what's going on in Waukegan in Chicago better than you guys so my coming here from halfway across the country um, I don't know better than you about what needs to go on here. But we do have ideas, and we'll share them. Uh, if you go to operationbodycount.com, it focuses on the victims of American, America that have died at the hands of illegal aliens. We lose more Americans every year in this country to violent crime and murder and rape and pillage at the hands of illegal aliens than we lost from the end of the Vietnam War to now. Combined, every conflict, every terrorist attack, both Gulf Wars, add all those numbers up, we lose more Americans every year since 9-11 than we lost in the past 30 combined every year. While we've been here this afternoon, another, well, let's go back to breakfast. We've lost another seven to eight Americans just while we've been together today to murder, rape, negligence, violent crime, drunk driving, by illegal aliens, by foreign national illegal alien insurgents. They're not undocumented Americans, as Harry Reid would like you to believe. There's a lot of dishonesty that goes on in Washington, but there's some good men there, some good women, uh, and even the bad ones. I don't care if they do the right thing because they know it's the right reason, as long as they do the right thing. And if my senators from North Carolina don't uphold my Constitution, I will spend my last waking breath fighting to get rid of them. They gotta go. <laughs> Operation Fire and Ice is to promote the 287G program and there's a lot of groups out there that are uh, behind that and there's some events Monday in support of that. Uh, I saw right many veterans hands pop up and they're all heroes but there's an everyday American hero sitting there in the back room uh, who's an angel and I'd like her to come up here and see me for a minute because I got something for her. Uh, Monica Ramos, if you would.
Well, we at our Patriot Watchdog and the Fire Coalition, we were trying to support the March for America. A couple of girls, one from California, one from Texas, that started Let Freedom Ring America. They wanted to do something positive. And we, uh, one of the things I did at Patriot Watchdog was a project called Patriots Walking. So a lot of people talk the talk, but they won't get out and walk the walk. And uh, from, for reasons I won't bore you with today, uh, I didn't get to do the whole tour in time like I wanted to. But I, I consider Miss Ramos' his husband uh, an everyday American hero and a patriot. <laughs> Sad to say, he's also a prisoner of war. Uh, we are in the middle of an undeclared war between us and Mexico. And anybody that doesn't, doesn't want to admit that there's a state of war going on, it's, it's a modern war, it's, it's high uh, in disinformation, uh, the, the fourth estate is complicit in it and guilty. We have a lot of traitors in the house, and they got to go. And our POWs, Ramos Campion and Hernandez, need to be sent home. They don't need a pardon. They need a violation. This POW flag has been with me from the Victory Monument in Yorktown to Williamsburg to Richmond to the steps of Capitol Hill to the White House to the Washington Monument uh, over the past several months. Uh, we cannot forget our POWs, the current POWs that we have, any more than we can forget the ones that paid the prices for the freedoms that we all enjoy. And we've got some good men in prison right now that are sitting in rooms smaller than the bathrooms we probably all use today. And that's got to change. But if there's anybody who deserves to have a POW flag to fly over their home, it's Monica Ramos. I wrote the Palmetto Resolves to commemorate, uh, you know, they say history repeats itself. And there's a lot of things going on now that went on 232 years ago. And I guess some of this, this uh, I don't call, call myself a minute man, a minute man, because I'm not actually a member of any minute man group, because there's not one near me. Uh, but I, I certainly do feel honored to be associated with so many vigilantes. They're some of my favorite people. Uh, I'd like to share with you just a couple, a couple of sections from the uh, Palmetto results. Uh, first, from the, I've got an article I'd written uh, to kind of tie the pit results and the Palmetto results together. And I'd like to share a little bit of that with you. The, the Pitt Association was comprised of free, free, free thinking colonists in North Carolina, east of Rocky Mount, about a day's ride from the then state capital, New Bern. The Pitt Resolves, dated July 1, 1775, came nearly a year before North Carolina's fourth provincial congress met in Halifax and unit, unanimously adopted the Halifax Resolves. The Pitt Resolves, a year earlier, was a warning to King George and a promise to their families and compatriots they would be keeping a closer eye on the government. The signers were announcing both their grievances and their plans to ensure their rights were preserved. Patriots forced to become watchdogs of their government resolved to address the problem head on. These true sons of liberty inculcate what the American spirit is all about. <laughs> 